Hi, I'm Julie, 43 years old, diehard Sox fan. My parents would take me to Old Comiskey all the time for games. I would go around the stadium looking for autographs. Can never get my favorite player, Harold Baines. Can never get close enough to him. So I thought I'd write him a letter. I told him he was my favorite player and if he could autograph my baseball card, I even gave him a self-addressed stamped envelope. A couple weeks later passed, I didn't really think anything of it. Then lo and behold in the mail, I got the card and it was signed by Harold Baines. Class act. I love the White Sox, I always will. How are you? Good. Nice to meet about, you. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. I I, uh, I saw your video and heard your story, and I was excited to get to chat with you a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but don't be don't be nervous. What made you send the card? <laughs> I was an autograph hound. <laughs> okay. And I would just go crazy, and I could never get close to Harold. So I'm like, I'm just gonna write him a letter, you know, and. Dear Mr. Baines, I remember, I didn't even call him Harold. It was like, Dear Mr. Baines. And just told him, I, you know, I was his, his biggest fan. And if he could sign my card, I, you know, put a self-addressed stamped envelope. <laughs> so he would, oh my God. You see, you see who might have just, just joined here? Mr. Mr. Baines Ooh. is here. Harold, uh, when you connect to the audio here, Harold, meet Julie. She is, <clears throat> Julie is your biggest fan in the world. Hi, Harold. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Good morning, Julie. Hi, Harold. <laughs> How are you? Um, a little starstruck right now. <laughs> uh, don't be. Um, My goodness. I'm happy I brought that the get... card. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. All, all these years. You know? <laughs> Harold, Julie, Julie was just telling me before you jumped on uh, how you being so quiet and res respectable as a wonderful guy, like just a quiet leader, made you her favorite player. I thought it was really, really awesome. Well, I, I, the, just because I was a baseball player, you don't change your personality. You shouldn't. That's just the nature I had as learning from my father as a young kid. You just go out, do the job, and uh, let everything else take care of itself. And that's I mean that's how my dad taught me too. That's why I think he, you know, when we watched the games, he would always say like watch watch how Harold Baines acts and watch how he's on the field. And when I, I played softball in college, and you know he always said the same thing: you have to be modest, you have to work hard, always give credit to your teammates. You know, and it, it goes back to you know watching you. I mean, there's a lot of. <laughs> A lot of moments where you know it's hard to sometimes stay positive and you know sometimes when things are not going your way you got to keep going and it seemed you know you proved that maybe i can meet <laughs> you in person at the ballpark next year oh my gosh i would probably like just oh. well julie I, I hope we made your morning you made my morning my afternoon and my evening <laughs> stay, stay was... safe julie thank you